Hey, hi, David. Hello, hello. How are you, teacher? Uh, I'm doing good. What about you? I'm good, I think. It's only uh, a little bit acalorado. Ah, okay, with uh, some hot. Yeah. Hot, I'm a hot. A little bit hot. Yeah. Yeah, don't you have any any fan that you can use? Yes, I have a fan in my bedroom, but here in the living room I don't have it. Oh, okay, that's that's bad. Yeah, I have a fan, a tower fan. It's mm -hmm. not really strong how the the air flows, but is is nice. Okay, I prefer the the AC. Uh, air but, conditions but with the ac the electricity bill is going yeah up. it's very high yes it is true it's but how many a ac equipment do you have well in my other house in in Lourdes, i have two but when i used to live there my bill was uh 150 130 oh. and only for sleep in the night not during the day right impossible yeah yeah, yeah but it's makes... very it's very high if you have ac the the bill is very high yeah we have to live underground already that's why yeah. i say <laughs> yeah underground on when you are underground, the earth is is cooler. Yes. Pretty good. Yes, I have a question. Uh -huh. uh, how many classes uh, nos faltan? Okay, how many classes uh, do we have missing? Yeah. Okay, because remember, a question you need to use, if the question is in simple present, you uh -huh. have to use do or does. Ah, okay. In your case, uh, you have to say, uh, hey, teacher, how many classes do we have missing? Uh, do we have... Okay. Okay. Do, 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 we, do we have missing? Correct. Missing. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, we, have, we have missing, let's see, today is Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, three. With this uh, only, week. only this week? Yeah, this week we are done completely. Okay. Okay. Yes, we finish this week. The time okay. passed quickly. Yeah, time goes pretty fast. That's it. It's true. Yes. You are right. Okay. Okay. okay perfect, David. We are gonna begin with uh, with the class because maybe your classmates are trying to get home 
I think it's raining. Is it raining where you are? No, they already stopped. Ah, okay. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, where do you live? Here in Santa Tecla. Ah, okay, Santa Tecla. Okay. Yeah. Okay, pretty good. Uh, hello, Nelly. Hello, hello. Hi, teacher. How are you? Uh, doing good. And what about you, Nelly? Very good. Okay, great. That's cool. Okay. okay. Um, we were talking with David that the, your classmates maybe are kind of delayed, atrasados. But ah, have, okay. But we have to begin the class. All yeah. right. Okay. Uh, welcome, guys. Uh, David was asking teacher how many classes we have pending or missing we have only three this one tomorrow's and thursday class and we finish pretty fast okay uh guys it's a raining in this moment where i live so i hope not to have any inconvenience with the class but it's raining kind of heavily where I live. Okay, welcome pre-advanced uh, module one. Let's see the topic that we are gonna practice. And uh, Nelly, can you read uh, this part, please? Noun phrases. What will you miss doing? In this part, mention an activity that you miss doing. Doing. Okay, imagine that you are going to, you're going to, I don't know, you're going to visit a relative that lives abroad in other country that you're going to travel. You would stop doing some, a couple of things because you are traveling. For example, you or I, Miss Ronnie. I demise. Correct. Yo. What is the meaning of apostrophe D? Would, would, would miss Ronnie. Would, correct. The, that is a contraction of would. What does it mean, would? Uh, in this case, faltaría. Oh. Uh -huh, okay. Yeah. It's similar to a possibility, right? If something happens, correct. Okay. Item is running. What else? Going to parties. Item, item is? I miss going, going to parties. Going to parties. Going to parties. Uh, this is the same one. Okay, this one. I miss reading books. All right. I miss reading books. Okay. And this one? I miss playing football. Football, correct. Okay. Daniel, yes. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hey, good evening. Only, uh, teacher, only, only hearing because I'm driving to my house. Oh, okay. Okay, Daniel, don't worry. Sorry. Don't worry about that. Uh, just focus on driving to your house, safe and sound. No worry. Okay. okay thank Carla. You. Hello, Carla. Welcome. Let's see. Let's see. Hector. Hello. Hello, Hector. Hello. Sorry. It's raining. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's raining here, too. Don't worry. Okay. We are just starting. We are reading these examples with noun phrases. Guys, you can say the same examples, but using noun phrases. Teacher, how is that? Okay, I will show you in this moment. Noun phrases as a subject. A subject. 
Okay. What is the general rule that we have to follow? Nelly? First place. Subject plus relative class plus verb to be plus object. Okay. What is this example, uh, Carla? that I really miss is my free time. Okay, okay, very good. If you check, what is the subject? One thing. One thing is singular, right? Yeah. It's yes. singular, correct. What is the relative clause? That. I would, I, I really miss. That. That I really missed. Correct. Until miss. That is the end. But the relative okay. clause begins using that. Using that. Correct. One thing that I really miss, the verb to be? Yes. In singular, is what is the object? My free time. Free time. Okay. In this case, my free time is the object of the sentence, but it is a, a noun. It is a noun. It is not a, a verb with ing. We have to use nouns in these type of phrases. Okay. Let's see a second example. Example number two. One thing that I mm -hmm. one thing that I really miss is my mom's support. What is the object? Uh, mom's support. My mom's support. Correct. Check. The object is in singular, verb to be in singular, and the subject is in singular. In English, you have to respect that order. Singular, 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 plural, plural, plural. Okay. Let's see a third example in this part. One thing that I really miss is my running time. Okay. In number three, if you check my running time, is this a noun or a verb in ing? A verb in ing. A, a verb in ah, Okay, you say that it's a verb in ing, but I tell you that it isn't. It isn't. Why not? Because you are using the word. The word? Time. Time. My running time. It is a noun. It is not an ing verb. Okay, we are going to make it sentences, don't worry. But remember, subject, one thing, relative clause, that I didn't really miss, verb to be singular is, and the object should be a noun phrase. Noun, noun. Okay, let's see. What is the example? The example, no. What is the indication, Nelly, in this slide? Uh, Nelly is not here right now. Oh, okay, I didn't see. Uh, okay, I know, but she is there, she's connected. Yes, but it, she's already, se levantó. Ah, okay, she, okay. she has? She has lived. For a while. Um, se, se levantó. Ah, but Nelly got up. Uh -huh. Get up is levantarse, right? Yeah. Got up in the simple past. Okay. You can read it, uh, da David. Okay. Make, make a sentence. Make a sentence using noun phrases. 
as a subject according with the next pictures. According with the next pictures. Okay, in picture one, look at the picture carefully. You have to see what is going on, the activity, people in the picture, etc. Can you try to make a noun phrase with this one, guys? Follow the example, following this same example. One thing that I really liked when I went to, to the cinema is eating popcorn. Okay, let's write it. Let's write it. Can you repeat it? One thing that I love when I went, when I Go to the cinema. One thing that I love. Why love? Why? Uh, or, or, I'm on, or, or that I, uh, I, really, I would, I would, I would really miss. Miss. Imagine that for one reason, you cannot do that activity anymore in your life, you would miss it. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. You would, you would, yes. So we have to use the verb miss. Okay, continue. One thing that, that, I, that, that I, I would, that I would. I did. Contraction. I miss. Really miss. Uh-huh. Is eating popcorn when I see a movie, when I see, when I see a movie. Ah, uh, okay, okay, you're going, okay, until, until this part that I did really miss. Uh, is. Is, remember, we're to be singular, yes, is. Eating popcorn in the movie theater. Eating pop, popcorn in the movie theater. All right, let's check it out. Okay, ta -da -da -da, ta -da -da. Okay, guys, uh, let's see Hector or Carla, let's see, or Nelly, if you can listen, is this sentence correct or no? Or David, what do you think? Is your sentence correct? or not correct? According with the example, check. Okay, this okay. sentence, uh-huh. I think is, is not singular, right? Uh, it is In the not- the part of it. And... No, it is not that it's not singular. The thing is that you're using a gerund, a uh, verb as a gerund, but you have to use a, a, noun, a noun, a noun. You have to use a noun. So what can you do instead of using eating popcorn in the movie theater? What is a noun that you could use instead? Is 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 a a box, for example. Can you read it, David? Okay. One thing that I really miss is a box, a box of popcorn in the movie theater. Ah, okay. See how you change using a noun. What is a noun? A box of popcorn. Correct. This is the noun. In this case, you are following the, the noun phrase example. And now it's correct. Because no ing. Check. No ing. You are using a noun. 
in the sentence is correct. Your previous sentence with ing was correct, but we have to use, because of the topic, a noun phrase. Okay, got it? Got it, got okay. it. ¿Se entendió? Noun phrase. So. Noun. Okay. Let's see. In this second picture, can you make a similar sentence using noun phrases? Okay, Hector, ideas? If you can uh, participate, Hector or Carla. One, one thing that that I that I like that I really like. Really, the like verb is a miss. Miss, yes. That I really. Miss is is go uh, is mm, okay. Is, have have a a party? No, no. Sorry, a party a party with my friends. A party. Ah, with my friends. okay. Very. Let's see the difference. You were using in the, your first attempt. Having a party, but having a party is ing. It is correct, but we are not using gerund, ing. We are it's using fine. nouns. Ah, is? We only a party. Correct. A nice party. Party I, with friends. With my friends, correct. Okay, nice. Now your sentence is correct because you are using the noun. What is the noun? A nice party. Yes, a nice party with my friends. Correct. Okay, pretty good. Carla, can you make the sentence in picture number three? One thing that I really miss is. Okay. One thing that I really miss is. A sunny day. A sunny day. Ah, is a sunny day. Where? In the beach. Uh, at the beach. In which city? Look at the picture. There is a city in the picture. In I Brazil. Uh, okay, the city. Brazil is the country. What is the city? Famous city, by the way. Uh huh. Rio de Janeiro. Rio. Correct. Pretty good. In Rio, at the beach, in Rio de Janeiro. Hey, that sounds pretty cool. I like this sentence. Correct. One thing that I really missed is a sunny, beautiful day at the beach in Rio de Janeiro. What is the noun, guys? What is the noun? Sunny day. A sunny day. Correct. That is the noun. Un día. Uh -huh. Soleado. Correct. Okay. Yes. Okay. Pretty good. You are getting it. Ya le está yendo, right? You are getting it. Okay. Let's continue with these pictures. Okay. Picture about the guy. With uh, with the bike. Sentence example, please. One thing that I really miss is a uh, 
beautiful days or ride my bike? Is ride my bike. Okay, beautiful day. Let's leave it because that was in the previous example. Okay, okay. this one. Uh, one thing that I did really miss is ride my bike. But in this case, the correct would be riding. Riding my bike. But this is not a noun. I need a noun. I need to make the sentence using a noun. Any idea about this one? Uh, perhaps one thing that I really miss is go to my work by bike. <laughs> go, okay, but go, that is a verb. That is not a noun. It's a bike that I can use for health or exercise. Exercise is, is a verb as well. It's a verb. It's okay. a bike. A, a bicycle that I use for exercise. A bicycle. Ah, my, for example. You can use that. Is my bike for exercising. Okay, what about this one? Is it correct? Yes. Correct. But it is correct because the noun is my bike. My bike. Okay. And this is the complement for exercising. And that's it. You are not using verbs. Check. No ing verbs. They are nouns. Very good. Okay. Next picture example. Let's see who else is in the class. Okay. The same. 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 People. Okay, what about this one? Similar example. About this guy. One thing I really miss is that I really miss is my face. Is my, can you repeat it? P is P. Ah, my PSP teacher. PSP, PlayStation, right? Yeah, my PSP. I can, I can okay. play it. Yeah, you can say it. Or you have the option to say, one thing that I really miss is, is my favorite video video game. correct video game. my game. favorite video game what is the noun my favorite video game correct okay check singular it is correct where to be singular it is correct and the object or the noun is singular. Pretty good. Okay. What about picture number three? This picture. The sound that do the high heels. Uh, high heels. Okay, yes. but that, that is that is the thing. High heels. That is plural. <clears throat> How can you make a sentence using a noun phrase? One thing that I really height? miss is... Uh -huh. uh, oh, oh. That I really miss is... Teacher, what do you... Take like a walk. Uh, can you repeat it? I didn't I hear take, it. I take a walk for for lunch. 
Uh, take take a walk for take a walk. Take a walk for lunch. Okay. Uh, what happens in this sentence? Uh, one thing that I really miss is a take. A is not correct. Take. The correct would be taking, but that is a verb, correct. Aha. Uh -huh. So, no ing. Teacher. Uh -huh. uh, I think it's one thing where I really miss are my high heels. Okay. My chest for to combine this dress. This dress. Ah, okay. okay, let's check it out. One thing that I really miss is R. Mm -hmm. I have a problem. Only R. Only ah, okay. R. Only R. But let's check. But at the beginning, you are saying. Huh? One Perhaps thing. Is one thing that I really miss is my yellow high heels to combine this dress. Is my yellow? Is my yellow high heels mm, not correct? Because you are using verb to be singular. My high heels is plural. Mm, not much. It doesn't match. No, no pega mucho. Doesn't match. Remember, nouns. Example, one thing that I really miss is... Uh, it's a party. It's a party for two. It's a Go party. My high heels. Ah, okay. It's a party where... I can use my high heels. Ah, maybe this one can be correct. Let's check. Ta -da -da. One thing that I didn't really miss is a party where I can use my yellow, because they are yellow, my yellow, High heels. Is that correct or not correct? Yes. Now, yes. Why is now correct? What is the noun that you are using in the sentence? A party. A party. Correct. A party where you can use your yellow high heels. Okay. Now is correct. A party is the object in singular, not high heels. That was in plural at the beginning. Okay, another option. One thing that I really miss is how my girlfriend, for example, my girlfriend mm, my girlfriend is how my girlfriend walks. on the house. That could be a, a similar option. Is how my girlfriend walks, but we have a verb in this part. We are talking about nouns. It doesn't match really, it doesn't really match, but that is the idea, that you use nouns instead of verbs in ING. Okay. But we are going to leave the previous example because it's better than this one. Okay, pretty good. Okay, nice. Nice, nice. Okay, continuing with the topic. Now it is pretty similar. Noun phrases as... As... Hello, guys. As objects. Okay, in the previous... We were checking 
noun phrases as subject. These ones are going to be as objects. Okay. Can you check the general order that we have to follow? First, we have guys, this object, the object, plus verb, to be. verb to be, plus noun, plus, noun. Mm -hmm. plus relative class. Uh, and you, you remember in the first one, the first general rule? What did we have? ¿Qué teníamos? Yes, what did we object. have? Subject. Subject. Uh -huh. Number two. In the previous, in the previous one. Subject. Verb to be. Ah. Uh -huh. Relative clause. Relative clause. No, relative. The, the relative clause in number two. After the relative clause, they were to be. They were to be an object. Yes. A At the end, the object. Okay. But in this one, it's kind of similar, but with a small difference. So object plus the verb to be. We have to use a noun. And at the end, goes the relative clause. Example, can you read it? My free time is one thing that I really miss. What is the subject? My, My free, free time. time. Where to be? Is noun be one, one thing. thing in the relative clause that I really miss. Ah, in this case, the relative clause goes at the end of the sentence. At the end. Okay. Yeah, at the end, correct, at the end. Okay, make a sentence using noun phrases as an object according with the next pictures. The exercise is pretty the same, pretty much the same. Hey, you remember uh, this game? Did you play it anytime in the past? Yes. Yes. What's this? Domino. 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 Correct. Domino. Okay. Domino pizza. Ah, you're hungry. You're thinking about pizza. Okay. What idea do you have if you want to make a sentence? And now a noun phrase, a noun phrase with the previous example. Check it out. One thing my domino. Really ah, in this case, is not one thing. My domino is uh -huh. one thing that I really miss. Correct. My domino, my domino game. You can say game, no problem. My domino game is one thing. Is one thing that I really miss. That I really miss. Correct. This is the correct order. When using noun phrases as subject. Very good. Okay. And this one, what about this picture? Check. Check the picture carefully. Uh huh. Example. Okay. Ah, malvaviscos. Ah, marsh marshmallows. Oh, yes, yes. My marshmallow is one thing that I really miss. Ah, but marshmallows sounds that is plural. Oh, yes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 
That is the thing. Pretty much. My sweater. Right. I stay I with my friend. My okay. Use... Okay, just a moment. Okay. I heard is stay with my friends, but a stay is a verb. It's not a noun. I can I use in plural or only in singular? Uh example in plural, can you say it? No, because we're talking about one thing. But yes. if I use some things. Some things. Like this. Yes. I'll complete the sentence, please, so we can see. It. Uh huh. Marshmallow. Uh, I said Nelly. But in replacing one thing, some things. Okay. Okay, but repeat it from the beginning. One more time. Marshmallows. Marshmallows are mm -hmm. some things that I really miss. That I really miss. Okay, now uh, translate it. Translate it into Spanish so we can see and realize how it sounds. Marshmallows are um, son algunas cosas que yo realmente extraño. Extrañaría because you are using wood in yes. in this in this part. Ah, los marshmallows son algunas cosas. Ah, son algunas cosas que realmente extrañaría. Son algunas cosas. Ah, uh, kind of weird, right? It sounds kind of weird. Uh, but generally, these type of sentences with noun phrases is in singular. More okay. in singular, yes. Because Teacher, if we... mm -hmm. my sweater, my blue sweater. My? How do you say peludito? Uh, Peludito, puffy, let me see, puffy, ah, uh, puffy, puffy, I don't remember oh, the word. Me, so uh, this is like, no, this is not the word. Puffy, no. Peludito, oh, I forgot. Let's use this one. Peludo. Ah, few, I confused. <laughs> I confuse this fury. Furry. Fury. Yes. Uh -huh. Fury covered uh, with fur. Okay. Small fury animals. Peluditos. Yes. Uh -huh. My fury sweater. It's, it's one thing that I really miss. One thing that I'd really miss. miss for a camping. This is only a compliment for a camping night. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. It is correct. Correct. Yes. My fury sweater, the noun is the sweater. And the rest is only pretty much the complement. But the sentence, you can leave it until miss. That I really missed. And this is optional. If you want to use more vocabulary, you can do so. But yes, it is correct. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Very good. Okay, what about this one? There are two guys using go cards in the picture. But how can I make a phrase sentence in singular? Um, 
Ajá. My speed car. My speed car. Is one thing that I really miss. Is one thing that I uh, really miss. My speed car. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about using my go car? Yes. Or, or no? Uh -huh. Correct or no? Yes. It is correct because you are saying my go car, even though you are checking or you see two boys using two go cars, you focus in one thing in your your car. Okay, pretty good. The sentence is correct. Hector, the next one, Hector, if you can say one sentence with this picture. The picture. <clears throat> Okay. okay. Mm. I, I okay, Hector, I, sorry, sorry, Hector. I realize that there is a lot of noise. You can use the chat instead. Okay, no problem. No problem. You can use the chat to write your sentence. And what about the rest? What about you guys? Can you make a sentence? Uh -huh. David, Nelly, Ada. Carla? About this picture. A nice cream. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's a thing that I really miss. A nice, maybe it would be better the adjective. Oh, okay. A delicious ice cream, okay. Uh -huh. Can you read it or say it one more time, please? Is one thing mm -hmm. that I really miss. Really miss? Can you add more compliment? And this like this. <laughs> days, In days like this. Like this. Okay. Okay. In these in days like these ones. Okay, pretty good. The sentence is correct. A delicious ice cream is the object. Okay. Pretty good. Singular. What about second picture? Teacher, may I ask you about the last example? The previous and this one. When you the last when you ah. use go car, what's the meaning? Go car. Ah, go car yes. is this, this funny toy. We can say that is a funny toy. Go car. It's the action. No, no, it, it is not the action. It is the toy, the mini car. Go car. Check. It is like a toy. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Those are go cards. Yes. They are like toys. Okay. Maybe you confused because of the verb. You thought it was a verb, right? Yes. Thank you. Okay. No problem. Okay. But is the, the, the toy for grown up boys or children? Okay. Hi okay. uh -huh, guys, what about this woman playing the violin? Can you make a sentence, a noun phrase? Listening the violin is. Listening the violin, ah, but listening the violin is ing, ing verb. The sentence is correct. The sentence is correct, but according with the topic, uh, no. 
Okay. Uh -huh. Only the violin. Uh, ah, the violin, yes, correct. The violin. Mm -hmm. Complete the sentence, please. Is All right. One thing that I really miss. Correct. But, but if, if I like to use other complement. Uh, you can add more complement if you want. Uh, for example, what else would you add it? When my cousin go to the concert. When my cousin goes to concerts. Uh, let's check. The violin is one thing that I really miss when my cousin go to concert. Okay, the, the second sentence is separated from the meaning in the first one. When we, I'm stressed. When? I am stressed. Ah, when I am stressed. Ah, okay. The violin is one thing that I really miss when I am stressed. Yeah, it would be better. For relaxing teacher. Ah, for relaxing. Okay. In a stressful days. Ah, okay. Now, the second sentence is connected with the... the Sentence number one. It makes more sense. Mm -hmm. That's it. Pretty good. Uh -huh. That's it. Okay. It is correct. Uh, what about the last one? The last picture. Check. Check the picture. What's going on there? What's happening there? Okay, this is the last one. Let's make it. Let's make it. My cell phone is one thing that I really miss. Okay, my cell phone is one thing that I, I really, really miss. Miss, can you add more compliment to the sentence? In this concert? Uh, mm -hmm. For to take pictures. Ah, okay. That I really miss. To record the concert. Uh -huh. yes. This is one option ah, to take to take pictures about the great concert. Okay, that is another option that you can use. Adding more compliment. Okay. All right, no problem. Yes, the sentence is correct. Okay, guys. Question. Do you understand the difference about using noun phrases as subject and noun phrases as subject? Yes, teacher. Ah, okay. If you have doubts, consult consult the presentation because this is the general rule that you have to follow. Check. Subject, relative clause, verb to be, plus the object. Okay. As One a subject. another relative clauses can we use? Uh, any other relative clauses that you can use? Yes. Um, in this case, this is the structure because as you see, 
the topic sense, noun phrases. Okay. We have other relative clauses. For example, um, but this is about connecting to ideas. Let me show you. A relative clause connecting to ideas, you can say, I was so sleepy. I was so sleepy last night that I decided to go to bed early, for example. This is a different clause. Why? Sentence number one. Simple past. Uh huh. It can be in, in any tense. It can be any tense. I was so sleepy last night. I had to do something because of the first sentence. What did I do? Mm hmm. I decided to go to the room. What is that? Yes. What is the result for the first sentence? The result is that I decided to go to bed early. All right. And what is the word that connects the two ideas? That. That, correct. This one. Teacher, can I use any other word? And uh, for connecting to ideas, yes. Example, my sister brings a cake um, for every weekend, for example. Every weekend. Can you complete the sentence? with an idea, you need to use a connecting word. My sister brings a cake every weekend. My sister. For mm, celebrate. To celebrate. Um, no, you need, for example, because. And we enjoy eating. Why my sister brings a cake every weekend? Why? Because we have a party. Because we have a party every weekend? That sounds pretty tiring. <laughs> weekend every Because every... we have a visit every Saturday. Ah, for example, because or we invite someone every Saturday. Ah, that they can it can be many reasons that you can use. Because it's so, every day for she for her. Okay, okay, I get I get your idea. All right, or you can say ah because she is uh, a nice person. Simple. You can make it simple. When a parent was um, the complainers. Ah, okay, but every weekend, every weekend that someone is someone's birthday every weekend, that's kind of difficult. Uh -huh. But it's Sometimes possible. Yes. It's, it's possible. A coincidence. Yes. I might be a coincidence, correct, because she knows. He knows that every weekend we have we have a cumpleañero in English. Birthday boy or birthday or girl. Day. Correct. Birthday boy or girl. That's it. What is a connecting word that connects two ideas? Because. Because. That's it. Idea number one. 
complementary idea number two. This is another type of clauses when you connect to ideas. But for this, for this uh, topic, this is the general rule that you have to follow. Okay? Got it? Okay. Got it, got it, se entendió? Yes? Yes, teacher. Hope so, it's better to see, right? <laughs> okay, good guys. Time is over, time is over. It's already 10 o'clock. Thank you for joining. Nice to see you guys. Tomorrow we connect normally for the penultimate class of your course, the penultimate, okay? Remember to complete section number five in the final exam as soon as you can. If you have doubts, send your doubts in the chat, in the WhatsApp group, so I can give you more indications about your assignments. Thank you for joining. Great seeing you. Have a good night. See you good tomorrow. Night. Bye, teacher. Bye, bye. See you tomorrow. Okay, bye, bye. Bye, everybody. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Take care.